is what WWE's all about. Baron Corbin likes to be the epitome of the term Lone Wolf. Yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. Common for superstars to practice a little hyperbole when it comes to nicknames. For example, King Kong Bundy isn't really a walking condominium, but when it comes to Braun Strowman, there is no more fitting moniker than the monster among men. So it's kind of like when they call you JR Jr., right? I've never heard that one. Braun Strowman truly is a monster among men, as Byron pointed out. Even on the rare occasion he's outsized, I'd say it's Strowman's physical ferocity that makes him truly unstoppable. I couldn't agree more, Cole. Just go back and look at what Strowman was able to do against the taller Big Show. I mean, at one point, Strowman threw Show right through a steel cage. Corbin looking a bit uneasy here. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Oh, this is nothing, Cole. You don't compete in a TLC Ouch. match without collecting a few bruises. to the back here. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. There's the Irish whip. Braun Strowman fans with some reason to worry about here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. This is par for the course, fellas. As we all know, a TLC match is among the most dangerous matches in all of WWE. You're going to get hurt when you compete in one. There's just no way around. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. There are two things to remember about Baron Corbin's end of days. One, the incredible display of raw power it takes to execute the maneuver. And two, Corbin doesn't care who he drops with it.
The end of days is such an impressive finishing maneuver and delivers incredible impact. End of days leaves its victims out cold on the canvas for a long, long time. The end of days from Baron Corbin is just another way for the lone wolf to show his disdain for fellow WWE superstars. Corbin won't stop until there is no one left. Back in the ring again. Showing some amazing strength right there. Will attempt. Ooh! He's making a statement here with this attack. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. You saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was... Wait a minute. Look who it is. And now he goes for it a second time. Oh, boy, he is rolling. What does Kurt Hawkins have in store? Taste of pain. This might be the end of Corbin. Some of the all-time greats in this business utilized the running power slam as a finishing maneuver. None of them had the utter force that Braun Strowman's version possesses. Here goes Braun Strowman. Baron Corbin is giving the crowd a show, but he needs to make sure he understands what really matters. And here's the monster of our man, Corey. Look at the power. Oh, hellacious power slam. Look at this again, guys. This match might just be over. The running power slam from Braun Strowman shows this mammoth's incredible athleticism and raw power. A lot more than the match could be over after Strowman drops you with that maneuver. Being put in Braun Strowman's running power slam is like being picked up for a ride in an amusement park that purposely makes a crash landing. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Watching this match, I think it's clear why we don't see too many TLC matches. This has been as savage as a match as you will ever see. We've seen some pretty unforgiving TLC matches in the past, but this one might just take the cake. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Baron Corbin with authority. Baron Corbin just changed the momentum of this match. Oh, I think this man needs business. This might be the end of Corbin. I don't know if Corbin can recover. That slam put him in a bad way, guys. This might be the end of Corbin. Ron Strowman is rolling forward right before our eyes. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Aaron Corbin just too fast for him. There he goes, crashing to the floor. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. And he flattens him with a choke slam. This might be the end of Corbin. Absolutely punishing. He 
Boom. Braun Strowman gets the win. Every time the tables, ladders, and chairs come out, we get more than our money's worth. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the winner. unbelievable. Rock. There's plenty of reason for celebration.